blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken to me today. Blessed people, the Lord Jehovah, Elohim, has spoken with me today. And uh, in this conversation, the Lord has spoken about judgment coming to Kenya. You know very well that uh, of late, Kenya has not handled well the servants of the Lord. The Lord has spoken to me about judgment coming to Kenya, to this city of Nairobi. And uh, the Lord is asking for repentance. The Lord has been asking for repentance for a long time from this nation. The Lord is still asking for repentance from this nation. That the people of Kenya may repent. It's a very dreadful thing to have your cripples being raised left and right everywhere. A lot of cripples being raised at one degree. Normally the Lord lays responsibility on such a nation, a visited nation, because that is a disposition of love from God Almighty. And so today the Lord has spoken with me about an earthquake that is coming to hit the city. It's going to hit uh, a section of the city. I see from a residential quarters, it's going to start from residence where people live, and it will go down. It will go down, I don't know how many meters or feet or kilometers down the soil. I don't know the five. I hear the figure five from the Lord. And then plow its way into the city from residential area. Plow. I've seen buildings that are damaged. I've seen people in despair. I've seen a situation, a distressful situation, big distress. And the Lord is asking for repentance. The Lord expects that all people understand. When you see his servants in the land, you know that it's a big responsibility. The Lord is of honor for them in the land that you may listen to the instruction they bring, the instruction on the glorious coming of the Messiah. So that message is well spoken. So the Lord is requiring repentance from Kenya. And repentance is love. That's the disposition of love from the Lord. That is God preparing you for the eternal kingdom of glory. That is God removing you from a life of sinfulness, sin, back to a quality life of knowing your creator, of knowing Jesus Christ, your Savior, and preparing you, saving you salvation, saving you from hell fire, preparing you for the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is asking for repentance from Kenya. And again, I know that in the recent past there has been a lot of grief in the part of the Lord on some people, some way in which Kenya has handled this message of repentance. The Lord has been crying out to Kenya for many years now that Kenya may repent. Repent and turn away from sin that Kenya may recognize the messengers that are raising cripples here. You know, the church in Kenya was attempting to ignore them. That is just how wicked it has been. Attempting to ignore ignore them. Yeah, just attempting to ignore, but it's not possible. It's not possible now, because you can see it's global. It's not even a Kenyan affair. And uh, the challenge has been the anointing. The biggest challenge has been the anointing. You can see the church in Nigeria has attempted to ignore them. Nigeria should have taken lead by now of making sure the whole of Nigeria is aflame with this message. Since the biblically promised messengers have come, South Africa should have taken a lead by now. Kenya, Uganda, they should have taken lead by now. The different pastors in those countries, the so-called senior pastors, but you see that the anointing is a challenge to them, and so they turn now to become the enemies of the anointing. And the same thing has happened here, and the Lord has not taken it lightly. Because cripples have walked. The cripples are walking, the blind are seeing, the deaf are hearing, and there is so much love poured out to this land by the Lord Jehovah. And so, again, the Lord is demanding repentance from Kenya. I've seen now a massive earthquake that the Lord asked me to speak 
into this city, the city of Nairobi. And I see the earthquake beginning from residential quarter from the estates and goes down the figure here from the Lord is and from the soil the Lord plows through the city with his wrath. He plows through the estates towards the city, towards the city. So it's going to be a tremor. It's going to be a tremor that will destroy some of the houses, residential see houses, residential houses, window off, wall off, broken wall, one part of wall broken and so forth. And that is a warning the Lord is saying. You cannot take the judgment of these two prophets. You cannot. As a nation, you cannot. And that is, again, the same language the Lord used the other day when the Lord said, you cannot take one hit from my servants. Because he said, look at Lima, Peru. Look at uh, Mexico. And look at uh, Haiti. Look at Nepal. You cannot. Look at Japan. He says Kenya cannot take one hit, one single hit from these two prophets. Because they have been loved. They have raised the cripples, the Kenyan cripples. They have established the blood of Jesus in this land. And that's why the Lord is calling for repentance again. That the nation may repent and turn away from sin. But I've seen a warning shot. I've seen the Lord giving forth a warning by asking me this day to step forward in that dream and strike the city with that earthquake and tell them this is a warning that they have to honor you they have to listen to you they have to repent and return to Jesus and prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah and so I see an earthquake that is going to plow is going to plow through from the estates towards the city I don't think, I don't know how far it enters the city. It looks like just slightly before the city because it's a warning. The Lord is very restrained about it. He has still shown his love and restrained. Just a warning. But if you fool around, these two prophets will strike you with an earthquake. It's going to be a tremor that is going to pull. It's go, it goes deep in the soil and plows through the soil. And from the estate, heading towards Nairobi. And... Uh, the city, it was the city center rather, it was the city. It does not enter the city center, if I understand right, but uh, it reaches the outskirts of the city. But I see buildings, I see housing estates. Some of the estates are really affected. I see one wall broken here, one side windows, houses wobbled and broken windows, broken doors, walls collapsed and all that. And that is just a warning. The Lord is simply warning on the wrath of these two prophets. He's saying, be very careful. They are loving you. They're raising your cripples, but be very careful. They are not your friends. They come from the throne of God. They are forerunners of the Messiah. To be a forerunner of the Messiah is not a joke. It's a very serious event. It's a very serious thing. And owing to that, they have to be honored and their message listened to. And people adjust their lives accordingly, that when the Messiah comes, people may enter the kingdom of glory. And so I see an earthquake that is going to tremor, the tremor is going to start from the estates, it will go deep and plow from under the soil as it's coming and wobbling houses. I see some windows collapse, some doors collapse, some uh, walls, Part of the wall, part of walls, residential estate. There's an estate I see plow through. I don't know. It looks like a rich estate or something like that, but it just shakes and wobbles their houses. And the Lord says, "This is just a warning that they may honor His servants, that they may understand that they cannot take one hit from these two prophets. Until now, these two prophets have loved this country. They have raised cripples here. They have stationed the message on repentance." and holiness, which is a lot of love from God. They've stationed it here. They're transmitting it from here to the earth. So they've made Kenya the envy of many nations, but that comes with responsibility. The Lord is God. Remember the Lord, he is God. And you are his subjects. You are his creatures, his creation. So you have to honor him. 
You have to worship him. You have to honor his messengers. The Lord is bigger than the universe. The Lord himself is bigger than the universe. The universe you see. Forget about the earth and talk about the entire universe. That's why he holds it in his hand like this. The Lord is much bigger than the universe. The Lord is very serious. The one that after creating the earth, there was, it was full of water and dark. And we don't know for how many million years, the spirit of the Lord was just simply hovering over the water of the earth. The one that created the trillions of galaxies and the trillions of planets, some of the galaxies of trillions, the big sun. The Lord is not a joke. The Lord is huge. The Lord is very mighty. And so the planet Earth is even smaller than bigger planets out there. I have demonstrated that to you in our broadcast here, if you did not know. And so the Lord is very huge. So when such a big God sends his messengers, his prophets to you, you have to honor those prophets because you can see the way he talks with them and he walks with them. And in any case, he has only loved you, raising cripples, opening blind eyes, opening deaf ears. He's extending love to you, grace. You cannot blackmail that. You cannot defame that. You cannot slander that. You cannot blaspheme that. So he expects that the gesture of love, the Lord is very big. If you see him send a forerunner to you, a generation, oh, you have to fear that person very much. You have to tremble to even talk to them or to meet them. Because the Lord is very big. He is very huge. He's bigger than the universe. Live alone the earth. I'm talking about the universe. Live alone one galaxy. I'm talking about the entire universe. God is very big. I've never shared with you people. So when he sends his own special envoys, special messengers from his throne like this, and now, now it's well established globally, that these are his very special ones that he removes from the throne room and sends. Then you have to fear them, revere them, and dread them, and honor them, and respect them, and listen to them, so that you may get the instruction of your creator. Otherwise, you will be destroyed. So the Lord is saying that is a mere warning. He's going to shake part of the city as a warning. The Messiah is coming. Thank you.